Hey y'all, this is Zach from Meals Under Pressure. All right, tonight I'm gonna to be making y'all some old school Southern chicken and dumplings. Um, this recipe has been in my family for well over 100 years. Uh, it's my great grandma's recipe, but of course I've got to tweak it just a little bit because I mean, I'm also using an Instant Pot. So here's what I got. I've got a, some boneless chicken, boneless skinless chicken thighs. Now my nanny always said you had to have a fat hen for your chicken and dumplings. Well, Poets didn't really give me a choice. Um, but for the sake of this video, this is a fat hen. So got my chicken thighs. I think there's six of them in there. And instead of rolling the dough like she did, I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit. I'm gonna use these, uh, these two um, cans of uh, biscuit dough. And water, I'm gonna make, make my, own, my own stock and salt and pepper and that's it. Uh, that's all we're gonna, we're gonna do. So let me get my water added and we'll show y'all what to do next. See you in a few. All right, so I took my boneless and skinless chicken thighs out and I cut as much fat off as I could. And the reason you, you want to get skinless because when you go to boil the, the, the chicken, if it's got the skin on, it'll leave a, you know, a grease and a kind of a film on top. So anyway, cut as much fat off as I, as I could. Now I've added three quarts of water. Now this, the broth uh, ratio to the, the dough, um, I've got about five adults eating tonight, so I'm gonna do three quarts of water and two uh, cans of biscuit dough. If you were only cooking for like two people, you wanna knock it down to two quarts of water and one can of biscuit dough. So all right, three quarts of water. I've got my chicken in there. I'm just gonna add salt, and some pepper, just to season up the water a little bit. And put my lid on, make sure it's set to seal. Come to the manual button or pressure grip, whatever your bottle has. And bring that with 15 minutes. There we go. All right, we'll see y'all in a few. All right, you can see that my chicken's already hit the 15 mark and start counting up. It's going to naturally release for about another 15 minutes. So while that's been cooking, I forgot to add an ingredient. I'll tell you about an ingredient: all-purpose flour. So I went in and started cooking my, uh, you know, my dumplings. I opened up my biscuit cans and I separate them and I've rolled each biscuit in flour. All right. So I'm gonna start rolling out my dumplings. Now you want to get them as thin as you can. I'm trying to get them about the thickness of a credit card. So very thin. All right, and kind of just in the sake of uniformity, I'm kind of trimming them, putting them aside. That's gonna be a, another roll. And I'm not saying I'm the best at this, but this is what you have to do. So, again, maybe a little bit thicker than a credit card, maybe two credit cards together. All right, so those go in a, those are going in a, uh, in a pile until our, our broth is ready. Now I'll just take this, again, mix it in flour, and do the same thing with it. So, all right, we got 14 more minutes of natural release, and we'll show the next step. All right, so we cooked the, the chicken under 15 minutes of pressure and I did a 15 minute natural release and I took it out and I shredded it. And that's some really good broth right there. Um, it, you leave some chicken parts floating around there, it's not a big deal. So, all right, took this out and I shredded it. I'm gonna set it aside while I cook my dumplings. All right, so I got my dumplings that you saw me roll. I'm gonna start dropping them in. Now, I've turned the saute function on and I wanna bring it up to a, to a rolling bowl and just start dropping these in. And it's gonna seem like a lot floating on top, because it is. But as they cook, they'll start sinking. And you wanna cook these for about 10 minutes, anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes uh, to the consistency of the dumplings you like. Um, so at 10 minutes, I'm gonna take one out, make sure it's cooked the way I like it. If not, I add another five minutes, but no more than 20. Being thin rolled like this, it's gonna be any, anywhere between 10 10 to 15 so again these are all gonna float on top at first but as they cook and as they get done they're gonna start sinking and some of them are gonna fatten up after you roll them that's just that's just the way it is I'm sure my nanny didn't have that problem but I'm not her and she also added that little bit of, you know they handle love into it too so all right I'm gonna get all these put in there and we'll be back at the end all right I just want to show you 
these dumplings how they're floating on the top. And I can just push them down a little bit and make sure they're getting, you know, getting some, some broth. But that's how it's going to look. Um, in about 10 minutes, half of those is going to be on the bottom. So, all right, back in the queue. There you go, folks. Take a look at that. That's some good stuff right there. All right, so 20 minutes was the magic number on boiling my dumplings. Now, one thing I forgot to add, I put a hard thin slice of hard boiled egg and put that in there. Um, I forgot that. I forgot that at the beginning. All right, so you're going to add a little more salt and pepper, and that's your taste. All right, and this is my family's old school chicken and dumpling recipe. And it's really good. So you need to try that. So all right, we're gonna get eaten.